guys. Hello. Get this theme music crunk up for y'all.
trends and the things that we look at from a day-to-day -day perspective and day-to-day -day view when we're scrolling down our timeline. Uh, I, for one, have cut down my social media um, talk time, uh, just really wasting time on social media. Um, I pr prefer to use my social media platforms for marketing, um, advertising, and networking, promoting things of that nature, something positive or productive. Um, I, too, used to be a uh, Facebook booker, you know what I'm saying, and uh, I just found that I was wasting a lot of time on there, and I wasn't getting things done and things accomplished to the uh, extent that I feel like I could have been doing, so I cut down on my, uh, my, my, my social media time and went up on my production time, I just kind of swapped that time over, so it's nothing wrong with being on social media, you know, it's entertaining, and keep in mind that, you know, you can't have all work and no play, you do need a good balance, you know, and so it's, it's good to take a break from the norm, take a break from your work day, be entertained, look at some things, you know, get a good laugh or two in. But, um, you know, we have to keep in mind it's not a good thing to also get wrapped up in it, you know what I'm saying? And we can't let the things that we see on the social medias govern our lives and make us feel like we have to actually be that way in real life. We have to live up to that or we have to prove, you know what I'm saying, something that we get in it and we doing it and this and the third. And believe me, you know, this is coming from, um, this is coming from a real, real life person that knows all about, you know, um, being fly and being, you know, that bitch and, you know what I'm saying, like, being the motherfucker on the scene because, please believe, wherever I go out, I show out, you know what I'm saying, I'm gonna turn heads regardless, but it's not about that because I don't care about that, I do that effortlessly, I don't really put much effort into it, things like that come naturally to me, so, um, people, you know, look at, at me and may think that, I'm a shallow person, but once they get to talk to me and they know me, they, they get a totally different perspective because those things, like I said, that's surface stuff, you know what I'm saying, that's fluff, and don't let that, that fool you get thrown out because, this is, like I said, this is me naturally, you know, I'm not putting on, every day I'm a different person, I'm a different creation, I'm a new character, if you haven't noticed by now, if you've never seen me, this your first time, maybe you have realized I'm a master of disguise, I might look one way one minute and, you know, two hours later, you get a totally different person, I do that, no problem, that's me. The thing is, I'm not trying to put on for anybody, you feel me? If um, if I'm broke or have, you know, $200 or $2,000, you would never know because I'm always going to be the same person. Because it's not about what we have on the outside, it's all about what we have on the inside, and it's all about who we are on the inside. And so that's the reason why I entitled this Boss Talks Today topic with the question, are you being real with yourself, okay? When you look in the mirror, if you have looked in the mirror lately, if you haven't looked in the mirror, this is what you should do. I would advise you to grab your mirror after this Boss Talk edition goes off. And if you can't grab the mirror because it's too heavy, it's attached to the wall, walk your lazy ass on to the mirror. Get up off the couch, get up off your chair, whatever you're doing, and go find a mirror somewhere around you. Take a look at yourself um, while you're there. And really just look at yourself, you know what I'm saying? Look at yourself, don't worry about what you have on, don't worry about your clothes, don't worry about your hair, don't worry about your skin, don't worry about your teeth, don't worry about your eyes, don't worry about your nose, don't worry about how old you look, don't worry about how young you look. Just look at yourself and see, do you really love yourself? Are you okay with who is staring back at you in the mirror? Um, and the reason I ask is because me, myself, I'm on the road to success, Hey, what's going what going on, cuzzo? What you doing on here? What's going on? Um, you know, the reason I bring this up is because I'm my, myself going through um some some real life changes and you know, I'm almost forty years old. I ain't no jitterbug. I didn't just jump off the porch, you know what I'm saying? I've been out here and I'm really trying to turn around um the things that I've been through and the things that I've gone through because I do not want to let my past be my story, you feel me? I understand now and I'm at a point in life where I'm not no longer worried about those things and I understand that I'm not restricted and bounded to the things that I have done in the past, the mistakes I've made, the things that I've been through, um, you know, things that I regret maybe or things I would have did differently because a lot of times we get hung up on that when we're trying to move forward and we let those things tend to stop us and keep us in a stagnant place and keep us from moving forward and growing. But the thing about it is you got to get real with yourself and stop using that shit as an excuse to be comfortable and not continue to move forward in whatever it is that your journey or, you know, your, your goals and accomplishments is because when you realize that getting up out of your comfort zone is the only thing that's going to lead you to the next, um, you know what I'm saying, the next level, the next, uh, you know, because it, it, it's, it's levels to this shit, you feel me? If you don't believe, ask Meek Mills, you feel me? He made a whole song about it. 
you know what I was saying? I was telling them, you know, I know it's Halloween and all, you know, but I just went in the closet. I ain't really dressed up, you know, but I don't mind celebrating the festivities. All I need is a reason to dress up, you feel me? But every day is like Halloween to me, y'all. You know, I'm a character in real life. I don't just put on for the camera. Hey, it's cousin if you don't believe me. What's up, cuz? I love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, this is Boss Talks Daily. This is my uh, vlog mentally. I come Monday through Friday from, um, I have a lunchbox edition and this is the evening edition. After everybody clock off, get home, sit down. After they finish cooking dinner, helping the kids with their homework, you know, they taking that beer, they getting that wine, you know what I'm saying? They rolling up, getting that little, that little sauce ready to chill out and relax, you know, and then boom, you got down, get on your Facebook and here is jazz in your building. You feel me? So that's why I chose this time, but if you haven't checked me out, please make sure you go back and check some of my previous episodes. And if you do not catch those, because I think they are deleted after 24 hours, check me out on YouTube, Boss Talks Daily. Um, I'm putting up the episodes, you know, it's usually almost as soon as I, I finish recording here. And that's just for people to be able to go back, because um, I'm really trying to bring some quality info, you feel me, to people. And if you um, enjoy what I'm doing, please give me some, some thumbs up, give me some commentary, give me some feedback, because it's not just me trying to talk to other people, you feel me. I would love to have somebody else's opinion, somebody else's input, perspective. Tell me if you feel it. If you don't, you send me. Thank you. Congratulate it. Say fuck you, bitch. You know, give me some type of feedback on uh, what I'm doing because I really would like to know if anybody is, if it's resonating with anybody because I am all about um, aspiring to inspire. I want to see everybody win. I want to see my community win. I want to... Uh, cuz, damn it, um, hit me on the ground and send me your, um, your number on, in the, in the box because I don't think I have it in my new phone. I ain't gonna lie, I may do, but just in case I don't, hit me on the ground and, um, message me so I can hit you up when I get off the camera. Um, I really aspire to inspire, you know what I'm saying? I see, I've been in prison twice. I just came home a couple of years ago, um, October 18th, May, two years I've been home, and, I really just came home to a whole different world, um, a whole different environment. And I see a lot of things that I'm just not pleased with. And instead of me continuing to talk about it, complain, and, you know, just get whatever, whatever, shake my head, I decided to do something proactive and try to get involved and be more hands-on with the situation. Because, like I said, I feel like if you're not a part of the problem, excuse me, if you're not a part of the solution, then you're part of the problem. I got to get it right because I keep saying that wrong. All right, so check the move. Um, get in real with yourself. It's going to require you to look in the mirror. It's going to require you asking yourself a few questions. One of the main important questions is, do you love yourself? Are you satisfied with the person that's looking back at you in the mirror? Okay? Is there some things that's keeping you from moving forward um, in life? Is it if you're not satisfied with the person who's looking back at you, why are you not satisfied? Is it because you haven't accomplished some things that you wanted to accomplish by now? You know, are you behind on goals? Um, maybe you don't have as much money you wanted to have saved. You know, maybe um, you haven't bought that house yet that you wanted to have, or um, you know, purchased that that business or that building or whatever the case is. Um, because none of these things are too big or small to be concerned about because that's you whatever goals accomplishments and dreams that you set for yourself roll with it go with it flow with it listen to you listen to the voice on the inside telling you that it's something you need to do um a lot of us you know we're scared to move forward because we're scared to take a risk we fear what we don't know and we fear what is going to happen or what might happen but a lot of times because we're so scared of fear, we let fear keep us from actually taking the risk to move forward and try something new. And we never know how we may have missed out on our opportunity or what opportunities we may miss out on as a result of listening to that fear and let that fear overtake our better judgment. Do you all know what fear is? If you do not, let me, let me tell you. Let me give you a little insight. Take this with you if you don't get nothing else from this video. Fear is false evidence about reality, okay? False evidence about reality. That is something that we create ourselves within us. And it's not really, it, it just doesn't exist unless we make it a, 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 a priority. But if we make it um, irrelevant, then that's what it will be. And once you learn that, you can continue, excuse me, or you can start learning how to block out fear and start learning how to embrace change and start learning how to embrace the unknown and start learning how to be comfortable with taking risks because a lot of times when you're taking the risk you're only stepping out on faith on what you can actually produce so the reason that you're scared to take a risk is because you don't believe in yourself 
And that's sad to say, but that's really what it is. We create a level of fear to get comfortable so that we don't have to get up out of our comfort zone and risk doing the things that we say that we want to do or the things that we think we can do. Because if you really felt like you could do it, if you believed that you could do it, you wouldn't waste time and you wouldn't let fear stop you from taking a leap of faith or believing in yourself a thousand percent and moving forward on whatever it is that is, you know, you've been hesitating to move forward on. How long do you think it'll take for you to be successful at whatever it is that your life goal is and whatever you want to achieve in life? Do you have a goal? Do you have a dream? Do you have a vision? Do you even know where you're going to? You know, in order to know where you're, where you're trying to go to, you need to know where you're at. And in order to know where you're at, you need to know where you're trying to get to. It works both ways. It's not a one-way road. So just know that all these factors are important and, you know, like I said, you becoming the person that you want to be ultimately. Today is October 31st, 2019. You know, 2020 is going to be here in a few months, guys. It's not really that far away. Matter of fact, a couple of months and then bam, next thing you know, it's January again. What was you doing January when this year kicked in? Are you going to be doing the same shit this January? Are you going to be the same person this January? Are you going to have another year like the past year? I, me, from me personally, I know about I, my shit. My year's already kicking off right now. I'm not even waiting in January. I'm already putting things in motion. Time January come, baby. It's going to be takeoff time. You feel me? Takeoff season. I am taking the downtime to prepare for the new season. And sometimes we forget that we need preparation to be able to even be successful to go to the next level because proper preparation prevents poor performance. And if that, you did not know that, you need to know that. Okay? It's the five Ps. Get with the program. Proper preparation prevents poor performance. Okay? And all that means is that it's okay to take some time to get yourself prepared to do whatever it is that you want to do. If you do not know how to do this, if you need some help with the steps, join me Monday through Friday for the Boss Talks Daily Lunchbox Edition for the next four weeks because I'm doing a 21 day to change challenge. And in this challenge, I am petitioning those out there who are ready to make some type of drastic life change. I'm not talking about a New Year's resolution because that that this, this is not that, okay? This is a real life change that will really make a difference in your life. And when you do it, when you commit to it, and when you take the step, the step, you have to use your foot, okay? You see my foot right there, flip-flop? You actually have to put some motion behind that talk boot. It's not gonna, it, it ain't about shit if you're just talking about it, okay? Talk, 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 no walk, 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 walk. It ain't about shit, okay? It ain't about shit. You're putting on, you're capping, you're flexing. You're full of it. you some bullshit, okay? And that's all that, that's that's what's really going on. So, you know, I hate to be blunt with you, but maybe somebody ain't been blunt enough with you. And me myself personally, I tell myself this every day. I'm looking in the mirror, constantly making changes. Every day I'm waking up, I'm asking myself, how can I better myself today? What am I doing that I don't like? What can I be doing that I feel like I can do better? What am I not giving enough emphasis to and enough energy to? All of those things I take into consideration. So we'll be talking more about, you know, how to better improve those things on um, Boss Talks Daily Monday through Friday for the Lunchbox Edition. So once again, if you haven't seen that episode or you haven't been tuning in for this past week, please just go back and check some of the episodes. And like I said, if you missed those, go on YouTube, check the episodes. Do not forget to share this information. Please, 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 I petition you and I ask you and I encourage you to share this information because I myself personally know that it doesn't cost you anything to help the next person achieve a better um, quality of life and a better level of success. If you are not a motivated person and these things and these words don't resonate for you, don't don't hesitate to encourage the next person. You know, you may feel like you're too old. You may feel like you're too young. You may feel like you're too black. You may feel like you're too white. You may feel like you ain't got enough education. You may feel like you don't have enough money. You may feel like a this, and you may feel like a that. And any time you want an excuse, trust me, it'll always be there. There'll never be a lack of excuses for you to use to prevent you from moving forward. So if you're if, that, if you're that person, that's okay. If that's working for you, fine. If you're getting results, I rest my case. I have nothing left to say to you. 
good day. I thank you for joining us, and maybe we can contribute some, you know, um, some suggestions on how we can better ourselves, okay? Because if everything you're doing is already working, then you, you must be the most successful person in the world. But if not, there's nothing wrong with taking a few, you know, uh, ideas or, you know, uh, a little advice from somebody else who may have discovered or know something a little different or may can just suggest a different way to do things and a different perspective on how to look at things, okay? So let's not worry about who we get it from or how we get the message. Just make sure that, we, that you get it and you take it and you make it work for you in the best way that you can, okay? Because this is not going to be for everybody. It ain't for everybody. Everybody ain't ready for change. Everybody ain't ready to commit to something. Everybody ain't ready to manifest their blessings. Everybody ain't ready to boss up and be on the next level. Everybody's not ready for success. Everybody's not meant to be a boss. And that's okay. You feel me? If you're okay with living from, you know, whatever, whatever, check to check, barely making it, making ends meet from month to month, you're content with your life situation. You're content with what you have for your family. You're content with, you know, not being able to maybe provide the things that you want to provide for your family and your, and your, your future. That's fine. And I, I, and I commend you. I support you. I encourage you. And I motivate you to keep continuing on because there's nothing wrong with just surviving. There's nothing wrong with just maintaining. There's nothing wrong with it. This is only supposed to be for the people who want to have something more, who feel like they, they're entitled to something more, who know it's something more out there, but they just have yet to reach and get it because maybe they lack the encouragement, maybe they lack that, you know, that person rooting them on or that pat on the back or whatever, you know, but I'm just here to motivate and encourage and hopefully inspire others to look at themselves and make that change, like Michael Jackson said, and that ain't, I ain't even trying to be funny, I'm being dead ass for real. But thank y'all for joining me. Um, once again, this is Boss Talks Daily. I'm your girl, Jazzy. She boss. I am a motivational speaker. I am here to light a fire up under your ass, okay? I will be here Monday through Friday. My commitment to you is to commit to come here and be on time and, and do this shit and put my all into it 100%. This is my baby. I birthed it. And if I don't give it no attention and give it some love and nourishment, it won't grow. Just like the kids, just like our family, just like our communities, okay? So once again, don't be afraid to share. And if you know somebody that you think could just use this benefit or information, tag them or do a, um, a, a watch party with them. Watch it later, you feel me? Each one teach one, but we got to do this together. We got to make a team effort. We got tonight. We got to join forces in order for the movement to be successful. All right? I love y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in. Please, 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 please join me. Much love, good energy, positive vibes. Join me. Wow. I love y'all. Be safe out there if y'all out there trick or treat. And save me some candy because you know I like it. Okay? Love you. Peace.